to join NATO. The Foreign Affairs Commission postponing a vote that was due today, further dashing Sweden's hopes after 18 months of waiting. The Commission said they will hold further talks next week and may bring the bill back on the agenda. Sweden, along with Finland, had requested to join the Security Alliance after Russia's invasion of Ukraine, but Ankara objected to both as it believed they were protecting Kurdish militants. It finally endorsed Finland's request in April, but has kept Sweden waiting. Some Turkish lawmakers still not satisfied that Turkey's anti-terrorism bill goes far enough. The EU's foreign policy chief, Joseph Borrell, telling Israel that, quote, one horror doesn't justify another in his first visit to the country since the October 7 Hamas attack. In meetings with Israel's President Isaac Herzog and Foreign Minister Eli Cohen, he said while the EU supports Israel's right to defend itself, it also needed to do more to protect civilian lives in Gaza. More than 11,500 people have been killed in Gaza now, according to Gaza health authorities. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu telling CBS Israel is trying to minimize civilian casualties, but has not been successful. This as Israeli forces continue to raid the Al-Shifa hospital to find evidence of Hamas military activity. NBC's Alice Barr has more. Israeli forces for a search in Gaza's main hospital for evidence of Hamas military activity say they've discovered the body of a hostage in a structure adjacent to Al-Shifa hospital, saying she was abducted from her home in last month's brutal terror attack. Israeli officials maintain Hamas runs a command center below Al-Shifa that must be dislodged, saying assault rifles, uniforms, and technology like this laptop offer proof. NBC News was not on site to independently verify. The Biden administration says U.S. intelligence backs up Hamas military activity at Al-Shifa. We are still convinced uh, of the soundness of that intelligence. The Hamas-run Gazan Health Ministry sent this video from the hospital raid, and international humanitarian organizations are raising sharp concerns about the safety of patients, medical staff, and other civilians sheltering there. Go, honey! Pro-Palestinian protesters locking traffic on San Francisco's Bay Bridge after a similar demonstration turned violent in front of the Democratic National Committee headquarters in Washington, D.C., with lawmakers including top-ranking leadership inside. U.S. Capitol Police say six officers were treated for injuries, from minor cuts to being pepper sprayed to being punched. Organizers say at least 100 demonstrators were hurt. The only ones that I saw were being violent were police. While the deadly violence continues, both in Gaza and in attacks at checkpoints in Jerusalem, where Israeli police and military say one Israeli soldier was killed, at least six others injured.